Good morning, Springville High School. And welcome back to the jungle. Hey, Sydney, what is your favorite TV throwback? My favorite throwback is Zoe 101. Now that we are all becoming adults and growing up, some, some wish that we still were kids. Remember Zoe 101, which made people laugh and happy. Also, Drake and Josh, the same song made everyone want to dance. I asked some of you what your favorite throwbacks were. Let's check it out. Uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Mom probably Paw Patrol. Bubble Guppies. <laughs> Timmy Turner. My favorite throwback is The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Now, do you believe in ghosts? In honor of Halloween, Elaine is asking that question. Since Halloween is tomorrow, I went around the halls of SHS to ask some fellow students and peers whether or not they believe in ghosts. Here are some responses that I got. No, but I believe in spirits because I've had um, several experiences <laughs> at my house. <laughs> Absolutely not. There are so many excuses for like noises, door slamming. I've never seen them before. Like biblically, there's no, they don't talk about an in-between. Yes, because my house is haunted. And I can prove it. I'm come over. Yeah. Yes, I saw Ransom this morning or whatever. So, do, do y'all see that? <laughs> I believe in a ghost. The Holy Ghost. Yes. yes. Wow. Because I've been hearing stuff in my house all the time when I'm trying to sleep, and it just scares me. I believe in ghosts, and I say that because a ghost scratched my head one night, and it was scary. There were some mixed responses, but overall, I think people do believe in ghosts. This is Elaine signing off of the jungle. Back to you guys. Thank you, Elaine. Now let's go to Natalie, who asked students what makes a good day at school. We all have good days and bad days at school. I asked some people at SHS what makes it a good day at school. When the 250 bell rings. Um, when there's not a lot of work and the teachers are in their best mood. Um, getting to see my friends at school every day and just being around people. Not being here. What makes a good day at Springwell High School? Coming to this wonderful place that I get to work at every day and seeing what great students we have, what great administration we have, and I'm not just saying that, I really mean it. We have some of the best students and parents of probably any other school in the county, and I am blessed to be working here. I get to see my friends, and like I get to go to photography to get more, that's like to do something more with my life. I'd say choir, because uh, most of the time of uh, day in school, you have to stay in your seat and you can't do or say anything at all. I hope you all have a good day at school. This is Natalie reporting for The Jungle. Back to you guys. Thank you, Natalie. As I've already reminded you, tomorrow is Halloween, and the most popular costumes for 2019 are Pennywise, a witch, Spider-Man, and that hilarious inflatable dinosaur costume. But if you don't have a costume, you're not out of luck. Just throw a sheet over your head and say you're the haunted mattress from Spongebob, or tie some pool noodles to your waist and say you're an octopus. That's nice to know. Now let's go to Lily who gave us some tricks and treats. It's spooky season, Springville, and this is my group of misfits. We run around tricking students and teachers. My first trick was a fake test. I gave the test to Coach Slaughter to give out to free AP history. This will be 10%, uh, I think, 5% of our grade. All right, guys, I was just kidding about the pop test. Okay. <laughs> My next trick was putting my friends in a box and asking people to help me move it. Alright, let's see. Alright, Sam. We're just going double ball. Hi. Who's after run? Hi. Alright. Wow. Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> Coach Sharuk asked if we wanted to get a teacher, so we told them the box is from the office. Here's me throwing candy at people for treats. I'm Lily, reporting for the jungle. Back to you, John Sydney. 
Thank you, Lily. Now it's time for Sports with Jacob and Anthony. Thank you, John Morgan and Sydney. Last week was the last football game of the season, and it was senior night. Let's go to Kelsey, who covered the game. The Tigers played Sacred County at Tire Stadium Thursday night. Also that night was senior night for the seniors. In the first quarter, Jace Hayes, number 22, made a 20-yard receiving touchdown for the Tigers. That led the Tigers 7-0. In the second and third quarter, the Tigers made more touchdowns for the Springville Tigers. At the end of the game, Springville won the game by 51-6. Thank you, Kelsey. Now let's go to Tiger time with Timber and Leanna. I'm here with Coach Mahaffey, the cross-country coach. Coach Mahaffey, cross-country rides are sectionals this Friday. Can you explain the process from making it to state? The top four teams from each section qualify. So the way they do points is when you place first through whatever, you get a point per your place. And then the lowest score wins. So the four lowest team scores will qualify. And then they also take the next six top individual runners whose teams did not qualify. What should we we be watching for at sectionals? Um, the boys have a really good shot at qualifying. They're ranked, they're tied for second in our section right now. So I feel a pretty good shot that the boys team will qualify. The girls are ranked fourth at the moment, so they're going to have to work really hard to make sure they make it in. However, I do feel pretty confident that we'll have one or two individual runners qualify. Beth Ann Tucker should place in the top two to three at least in the section, so she definitely will go to state, and it'll just depend on how does the rest of the team do. Good luck. Now let's go to Timber with basketball. Thanks, Leanna. I'm here with Coach Smith, the boys' basketball coach. Coach. Uh, basketball season is coming up soon. How do you expect the boys to do this year? I think we'll do well. Um, we had a great summer. Played 23 basketball games this summer. I think we won 17 or 18 of them. Uh, we beat some very good teams. So There's only two games all summer that we played that we were just beat. So I think we'll do well. They play really hard and they, they play really well together. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Back. Over to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to the cross country team. The basketball season starts November 14th with games at Leeds. Be sure to go out and spoil your Tigers. Back to you, John Morgan and Sydney. Thanks, Jacob and Anthony. And thank you for watching The Jungle. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at SHS underscore jungle underscore roar. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Jungle SHS. Also, be sure to pick up the latest edition of our newspaper, The Roar, on sale today. Bye. Bye.